So it's a new year, new me, new jumper, new video, that kind of day today. Um, it's terribly cold and dark outside, so I'm stuck inside in the studio, backlighting myself, frontlighting myself. I thought it'd be a great idea to talk about shooting a stills camera alongside a video camera, combining them with a glorious piece of metal. So let's get started. <laughs> Imagine those times where you're snapping away taking photos on your camera and you also want to shoot video at the same time. Now to my knowledge at least, no one really makes a camera that can do both of these together. So what happens if you're a single shooting, you know, solo wielding photographer, uh, maybe a wedding photographer or an event photographer, you just want to capture a little bit of footage at the exact same time. I'm going to do one of those uh, YouTube reveal things where you kind of look really surprised about what's inside, so ready? Ooh. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, it's nothing really. It's an Amazon Basics GoPro case. Um, I just quite like it. It's nice and hard. I like things that work well. Uh, inside here, we have the video side to the photo and video equation. Uh, I've got myself a little GoPro here. This is the 7 Black. Uh, this is the stabilized internal one. It's also black in color. Hidden away in the box as well, I have one of these strange little uh, S-shaped, spatula-shaped uh, pieces of metal, uh, which will attach this GoPro onto my spare camera. Here's my camera, this is my stills camera. Uh, to note, we can still shoot video on it as well, but this is your stills camera for the day. This is your video camera for the day, and with this piece of metal, we can put them together, the big flat bit of the spatula goes on to the camera's base plate. Um, by the way, this is by, I think it's Andoer. 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 Um, sounds like a place in France. These are flash paparazzi brackets. So what you do is once you've attached it on the bottom of your camera, you get this kind of little plate here sticking out just outside the front of the camera and just in front to the right. And traditionally, you put yourself on a little flash there and you'd have the flash sitting here kind of going around there like a little snake venomous snake um, and you take photos that way you can take photos that way you don't get any of that weird kind of turn sideways flash sticking out your left hand side uh, it's always above the camera wherever you go we need to attach the gopro onto the front of there uh, so i have to use a little riser it's just a little piece of kind of metal there i don't know if you can see that all right it's just got a screw hole in the bottom it's just kind of lifted up a little bit. I'm almost grimacing in my videos and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. I should be really happier, shouldn't I? I've just had some coffee. We'll lock that down with a piece of, with a penny. Um, and we'll make sure they're on the same axes so you can see front of the camera, kind of front of the GoPro, about the same. Turn it forwards and look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is going to be a killer, killer, uh, <laughs> thumbnail so let me just look really actiony ah, god do you think that's going to get the new subscribers i don't think so either but here we go look this is a dual wielding setup it's pretty light it's pretty flexible you can still use your your hot shoe on the top you can still put your little um kind of your holsters at the bottom or treat it just like a normal camera so once they're both booted up and you can see we've got me in both of these Hello, this is a bit of a weird inception going on. Shoot yourself some stabilized if you've got the seven black. Uh, and you can be taking photos, so you can be up, up to your eye. You can be snap, 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 snap. This one here, I hope you can hear me. This one here is still recording. It's stabilizing everything. It's using that in-body stabilization. So I'm there, I'm shooting, I'm taking photos. I'm going, oh yeah, work it, work it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And all at the same time, Thumbs up. And the possibilities for this is endless. This is a really lightweight setup. This, uh, you know, this, this brackety thing at the bottom is so thin it can fit in any bag. GoPros are essential B, C, or D cameras. They're, you know, your everyday walk around. Uh, little cameras, um, exceptional quality as long as you've got enough light for them. Pair that if you're in a working environment with, uh, say, a wedding photographer and you know, maybe they didn't hire a wedding videographer. That's cool. You can be taking photos, then coming down the aisle. You know, snap, 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 snap. And this is taking slow-mo footage for you at the same time. 
as long as you're in the right position here, this is going to be in the right position too. Another good application, say you do have a wedding videographer, but your wedding videographer is stuck at the back of the aisle. Uh, he can't get that front facing shot, they've allowed no uh, other people at the front, you know, tiny wedding venue or something. You get a lot of those in England, tiny little churches that hold like 10 people but they are a thousand years old and you kind of stand inside of it and go, this is this this place is older than most countries. The history of this country, I just can't even understand sometimes. But say you're at the front and you wanna take some footage at the same time, it's no problem. You give that to your videographer afterwards. If you can take anything away from this setup, I really hope you learn and you encourage and create and inspire other people to do the same. Uh, we are always looking for edges and advantages in our photography game. Everyone now can own a camera. You've got to now separate and diversify your skill sets uh, when you're a paid photographer. Uh, perhaps you can offer now something that no one else could. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and stick around. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.